that's just the way what up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. It's the only place you can find the wave. It's the wave 804. Got my boy Daquan Rose in here, you know what I'm saying? He got his own sneaker company, you know what I'm saying? Working hard. I see him grinding. But I ain't got nothing else to say because I'm letting him do all the talking because I came here to see him. So you go ahead, big dog, introduce yourself. Let him know about you. Hey, what's up? What's up, 804? This is your boy Daquan Rose, aka Street Anime, aka Rose Restorations, coming in with y'all. Hey, I had to show love to the city. Ever since I landed here, I was like, yo, this is a fantastic city. So I had to come down here and yes talk, talk to my boy, you know? Yes, sir. So, Devin, bro, I want to go and get it too, bro. I want you to tell me about the business. Like, what made you want to start uh, making business with your shoes and stuff like that? Yeah, it actually started at least about almost 10 years ago. Okay. Actually, my mom, like, my parents always gave me a whole bunch of shoes. Like, before I was even in the shoes, I was just, like, in the video games. And it was yeah. like... I looked around, I'm like, dang, I got all these shoes. I'm like, my mom used to clean my shoes, and then she got to the point where, you old enough to clean your own shoes, and blah, blah, blah. So she used to give me, like, like the old sneaker can. You had the hard bristle yeah. brush up there. You spray the foam up there, you used to clean it, because I used to, like, looking at the foam. Right. And I started, started cleaning the shoes, and my mom was like, dang, can you clean my shoes? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I can clean your shoes. And then my mom started saying, like, man, you always came here with some fresh kicks on. I'm like, yeah, I be cleaning my shoes at home. Mm -hmm. And that's like on sixth grade. I'm like, yeah, I can clean shoes too. And I started cleaning in sixth grade, not thinking it was a hustle. Yeah, People yeah. started giving me money for it. I was like, nah, it's just for free. And as older as I got, I was like, yo, I'm getting more deep into the sneaker culture, into the collecting part. Then I started cleaning high end shoes as in high school, like cleaning OG Space Jam, the Raging Bulls. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can make a hustle out of this and every single project mm -hmm. and presentation I did was something sneaker related or me cleaning something in presentations. And every the whole time, time I did, in like school? Yeah. Wow. Like they'd be like, all right, freelance story, do whatever you want. Boom. It was by the history of Air Max. Boom. All right, dude, if you had to be a salesman, what would we be trying to sell? Mm -hmm. I knew how to make my own sneaker cleaner by then. So I actually got like my friends to step on my all my all white vans mm -hmm. at like it was an accident and I cleaned it right in front of the class. I got I got my homeboy, got some hot sauce. He put on my white hat, cleaned it off right in front of the teacher and everything. Mm -hmm. And like I've been doing that ever since and then my dad was like, You can make a hustle out of this. Yeah. And I started taking it seriously. I started I actually started like a year ago, once mm -hmm. I started a year ago, I got met Kicks Laundry. Kicks Laundry pretty much was like big steps through because it was like doing it by myself. Mm -hmm. Actually getting trained to actually make this into a business and learn the financial part and just like seeing like you can do whatever you want in your career. It don't matter what it is. You can just do what you want. There's always a hustle coming with your passion. Yeah. So, bro, I'm definitely amped because I see all the... Um, yeah, I know that you had to make so many sacrifices to make sure that what you was aiming for was going to come to light. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to call it a dream, but you had this vision for so long and you've been hustling and you kept grinding towards it. So now, at this stage of your life, when you start like branding your uh, your company and were there any influences that uh, made you want to take it seriously? Uh, it was actually not really great influence i just really just like doing it until mm -hmm. i seen kicks one that was at where i got off from target and i seen somebody hit me up say hey i see you do clean shoes keep up the good work he yeah. was like hey there's a company down here in virginia that clean sneakers they actually had the business i was like word for real i was excited because i was trying to just see who was the owner mm -hmm. went to claxon va in norfolk Joe put me on to Kicks Laundry, and then I was just like, yeah, once I met Kicks Laundry, that has been my influence to keep going, yeah. not stop, ever since that day. Okay. So, is there anybody that you say that, uh, who really pushed you to keep going? Because I know sometimes as you can be a businessman, and the work is to be all, like, overwhelming, and yeah. you get, like, real stressful and stuff. Was there anybody in your corner who kept, like, pressuring you to keep going? My dad, my mom. Probably my girl. That's the only people that really push me. My and my baby brother. That's okay. the main people that really push me the hardest yeah. in my family. Like the close family push me hard. Like every time they see me something, be it's like, congrats, keep going and going and going. It got to the point where like, dang, I ain't getting no business. Before before I make kids laundry, I was like, man, I got to stop. I ain't really making nothing like that. People won't support me down there and suffer, even though I had like a name out there. I was with Kiki Fashion and it was like. I still won't get nowhere. 
Mm-hmm. Soon later, I was like, man, I hope I get the sign. Got that sign. And then my people just been having my back ever since. And everybody that I've been meeting, yeah. they've been pushing me forward ever since. And they still got my back no matter what. It's the same way I got their back. Yes, yeah, sir. That's that loyalty right there. Yeah, it's that family business. It's yeah. Like, so now you know, you're making a name for yourself. You're getting support from your family. So you get basic ingredients to really keep going and to stay in true to who you are. Now, when it comes time for the discipline, how is that to like really stay grounded and to make sure like you get where you need to be? That was hard. That was kind of hard because I was just like, I don't know where to start. Because by yourself, I scattered all over the place really trying to find where to really start. So the discipline part, all right, I gotta sit down, get this over with. I gotta sit down, get this done. It was overwhelming. I couldn't plot nothing because my time management and my scheduling skills was like bad, so that, that was real hard. It's still kind of hard now, but I got it down on pack. Discipline is like to get four shoes done a day, I'm trying to do that because once I make $200 a day, I can leave my main job and actually do this into a real hustle. Cause my boss was like, you know you can really make this into a lifestyle and leave your job and make this to it? Because he makes $600 a day. Imagine money, make two hundred dollars a day. Mm-hmm. I could leave my job and still have a store, have a life, and have everything, and still collect how I want to. Yeah, I got you. Um, what else now have you done as far as like collabs? Has has there been anybody else that you met who probably doing somewhat of what you're doing, or somebody who's trying to do what you're doing? Is there any uh, collabs or working with those type of people? Yeah, actually, I got one partner with me. She's now. Black Market Customs, he actually works with me and Kicks Laundry. He actually did the custom part because I was trying to do customs and I was like, I can't do customs. Like, this didn't feel right. I said, this is not my league. And then since I seen what he doing, it's like, I, do, I clean it. I find the shoes from like thrift day and clean it, pass it to him. He do a custom on it. We both market that together. That's the only partner I really have. But then I also do fashion. Like my all my friends are like, got clothing brands like mm-hmm. Desire, Vent. And a couple other people that I met, I worked with them with their little girls, and they was like, "Bro, you need to drop your stuff soon too." Cause yeah, it's like I'm not only sneakers; I'm also fashion and art. Like I just love art. Okay. And like, like when I come to Richmond, I see art on buildings. Yeah, I just the, all the murals, out. man. Yeah, and I love that too, cause like you get to see the um the heart and the talent of what they put in, cause they showing you about how the way they feel on a daily basis. And to express yourself over something that's free that you don't have to pay for, I guess. And you can just like tell your story right there on that wall. It comes out so beautiful. So when it comes down to what you're doing, what is something that you really feel like that you put all your all into this? Because you know you want to make this be big. And a lot of people can start you know, working with you and collaborating and networking. So what is something about this that influenced you or uh, continue to motivate you to keep going? Uh, mostly the only thing to keep me motivated is like you meet new people. Mm-hmm. Every time you meet new people and networking, it's just like I gotta meet more people. I gotta meet more and more and more and more. And like it's not like it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Yeah. That's what it is now. And I was like, I told my dad told me that I was like, man, it's about what you know. I need to go to school and stuff like that because that's everybody always told me. Yeah. To go to school. It's like how I go to school for cleaning shoes and like yeah. shoe repair and stuff like that. And it's about who I knew more than it mattered. Yeah. So now you doing all this, bro, and you only but twenty two years old, right? Yeah. It's only but twenty two. A lot of us think that you know, in our age, because I'm twenty three, and we're both young and we got so much full of energy. But a lot of our people who came before us was telling us like, "Yo, have fun when you're young. You know, do this and do that." But when we see those people and who said that, you know, we look at them now when they're in their forties, they're trying to hustle to be businessmen and, and women. Not to say that's an issue, but I feel like on a mark, that's kind of like too late to be doing that because you're not going to have the same energy like you, yes. if you were young, you know what I'm saying, like how the way you used to, but now that you're older, you know, you kind of like, you got to do this and you probably got kids, you got this and the third, so it's going to be a hassle. Is there something, uh, is, was there something about that that kind of made you feel like, well, if I want to really want to do this, I want to do this now because I'm able to move and talk to this person, this and that, the third, even how the, the way of thinking could be different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So is there anything about that had like kind of prepared you to do this now? Yeah, like, soon I got high school, 
I didn't really know what I was doing. So yeah. after a while, man, I just lost the train of thought. Nah, that's Gucci, man. Go ahead and pick back up. You Gucci. Yeah, like when I said I had to do it now, I like I couldn't sit in the house all day. I, that's why I had I really hated. It. I was like, man, when I get, I want to work my own business. Right. I didn't want to work for nobody else. I wanted to do it straight me. So it was like. My goal was to be like thinking like a 25 year old way before I was 25. Yeah. And living a 25 year old life. Like I have a car, I have a house, I'm living like this life, but I'm still young, right. I'm still fresh. And like, and mostly trying to be an influence on the people younger than me, mm-hmm. saying like, dang, he's only like 23, but he's achieved so much and he has so much. So I might be an idol for around the whole, yeah. whole area. So I'm like, man, I got to do this now. Hustle now. And I have everything I set up later. Cause if you start late in the game, you still gonna be in that game for a minute. Mm-hmm. It's like when you in your prime, you might as well hit it hard as all you can. Cause soon you wanna get older at that time. Yeah, yeah. You gotta hit it hard while you got the opportunity. Never let no opportunity pass through. Yeah, and there's a lot of people um, don't think that way, man. But it's definitely dope that you you have that well mindset that you really was trying to get it. You doing good with it. So. As far as your company, how many people, uh, if you can speak on it, on an average, come to you to get their shoes and stuff done? It's hugely my dad, because me and my dad had like the in, in, insane collection. So when yeah. he'd be like, hey, I need you to bring these, he'd give me like four at a time. And then my mom, she be like, she got a huge collection too. She'd bring me like five at a time. It's mostly just straight family. Mm-hmm. And like the business I've been with like for five years, like my first job, uh, KD Fashion, yeah. Yeah. Like, he'd be like, oh, I got these shoes. Cause they always bring in my uncle, which is my barber. He'd be always bringing me stuff. Yeah. It's like close family has been like my main fuel. And then once it got go through word of mouth and everything else like that, yeah. it's mostly family and then close friends of family. Mm-hmm. And then like friends I grew up like in high school and middle school with. Yeah. Like those are the main ones that always look out for me. I got you. So. You speak on your family and you speak on uh, everybody who's supporting you. Is there any, uh, any outside sources that really support you that, you know, uh, that's like on that same uh, level as you or probably higher? Yeah, it's probably be my um, one of my best friends, um, Rashawn, mostly Desire, like the clothing brand. Okay. And then uh, Vent, Anthony, they always got my back. Like, we that three-man team. Gotcha. That, like, that always go, like, he like, hey, I got you on this, like, events-wise, like, when you go to, like, different clothing events, even though I'm just there, just, like, doing my thing. It's mm-hmm. like, they always been my two amigos, and then my girl, that's always been, like, my right hand as well. Like, when it comes to ideas and stuff like that, she's an artist, so she does everything wise mm-hmm. for me. I'm like, hey, I might need help with this. She's like, all right, let's sit down, sketch this out. We end up coming with this great idea, and then I'm just like, that's just my team right there. Yeah. There's a lot of other people that's on my team. Kicks Laundry. Even though I just met him like four months ago, that's been like my my mentor. It was just like a Naruto to a Kakashi type thing. Yeah. Too. It was like, that's I'm true. the goofy one, and then he's always the one like that. It's that that always been like that type of relation. And then my other boss that I've been with like five years, mm-hmm. that's always been like a huge relationship too. That's what's up too. So is there any... um. Anything that's going on as far as like organization rides or um, any events that you got coming up just to further display your work? Yeah, like right now, I got to the point I sent out a huge group text, uh, text message to my friends. I was like, all right, I'm being tired of looking for events. Let's actually make our own events. We've been yeah. so many of them. Let's start bringing all the creators in the whole state of Virginia. Let's all make this semi annually and just make this into like a huge event to where it's like people from the East Coast don't want to come down here. Yeah. Like right now we got a name called TXP. It's called The Experience. Because every time you go somewhere for a new experience, you grow. You yeah. get that motivation, you get that inspiration. When you come to our events, that's why I want everybody to feel like, even though it's our first event, and you like, that's the first time being a venue at our event. Mm-hmm. I want next time I have it, I want to see how you improve. Every time you go there, you're not gonna be like, oh, I ain't gonna get no business there. Ain't nobody gonna get followers. Yeah, gonna yeah, do that. yeah. Like whoever comes in, there, you're gonna get that experience and that promotional thing that you need. Cause that's the only reason why people go out to events. Yeah. To get that help, that love, or you just in there just trying to get the 
inspiration trying to meet people similar to you yeah because yeah, yeah. i remember like in Suffolk, we don't have a lot of that's not there's no platform mm. i was like man instead of just thinking Suffolk, i want to make a platform for the whole state of virginia yeah, yeah. Like how the serene culture was, that yeah, was a huge platform. Very big, bro. That was very big. Very it was just big. like not like fashion. It was way more. Other people were way more than fashion. Yeah. I said, man, this is gonna really make me want to do the same. Loving this work with everybody. Yeah. And you was able out there to network, man. And you met so many good faces, bro. Um, like my man Malik uh, Sparrow, we got my man Blaze, uh, he got Asia, Jazz, Arrow Mac, oh my god, uh, Santiago, Rotate, you got so many people. people. Yeah, and then you got the models, like you out there and you feel like you're a part of something, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, that, that last night to me felt like the Grammys, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, that's how bro, I felt, like yeah. everybody was just working, working, working. So that's how I felt, and then it's like us being at this age now. We starting to see it, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's not like mainstream, but for the whole city of Richmond to be there, it was just lit, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I definitely took a lot of things out of that, you know what I'm saying? How to build um, a big, like a bigger networking space, uh, how to um, uh, work with this person, same with networking, but you know, to have somebody meeting somebody else who probably like at, at a bigger level, but you're able to talk to them and you be able to like trade um, cards and stuff and you yeah. be able to work. So that that right there made me smile because I'm like, damn, like, and the people who didn't like they knew who the wave it for is, yeah. but they just didn't know who was behind it. So I was like, yeah, you know, this is me or whatever. And people was just giving me so many so much props, excuse me, but you know, just to see everybody there, everybody had a purpose. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's what I really liked about it. So. As far as this goes, um, you're grinding, you're working, uh, you're trying to put events together with your friends, um, you out here, you're networking. Um, I probably said that twice. <laughs> I probably said that twice. Um, it, that's, that's just big to me, networking, networking, networking. Um, any future collabs that you want to work with, like anybody? Not really, like who have I meet? I mostly want to really do a collab with Malik. Yeah, like a, whole, like a lot of those fashion artists, I like. I love fashion. This has yeah. always been my thing. Like that was like my, for yeah, those sneakers and that was always the battle. Like which one do I like more? Do I like sneakers? And once I see some fashion shows going on, I'm like I love that boy. It's about an equal tie. Yeah, like, there's a lot of people I want to work with. Like even just being up here collaborating with you, it's just yeah, like, crazy. Like. This is like always like my little kids' dreams, like me running around as an inner child, just yeah. doing things just at older age, which is like great. Like I know once I get this sneaker store and stuff like that, I have like people that got clothing brands. I'm like, hey, you can have it in the shop, yeah. display it with the sneakers, because everybody when they go when they go in there, like, drop their shoes off, mm -hmm. they gonna see clothes in there. Yeah. People are they they're gonna look around as they're getting waiting and stuff and get their stuff done. They're gonna look around, look at your stuff. How much is this? That's just a platform for people just to have this stuff that make sales and to like put their brand out there. Mm -hmm. And then like doing commissions, like people got stuff to sell. I'm just like, I'm just trying to make this into like a huge store, like Richmond Hall, like round two is the biggest influence. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just like, I want people and creators to express their stuff and have that platform that they need to shine to make Virginia this ultimate place mm -hmm. like that it is. Yes, sir. Definitely, man. And you gotta just keep that same mindset. Even though that you're working to try to bring the whole state together, you also is also ways you get starts with you. You know, because if people start to see you and you being a big influence, and they gonna start taking that the the same thing. And it only starts with one. You know, yeah. saying so you don't have to get ten right away, but only starts with one, man. You you don't know. You never know who's really watching you. You know. So definitely, bro, stay on your, um, your stuff, bro, and I'm proud of you. Just keep doing yeah, it. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely am willing to support. So, you know, if I could just help anybody, that's the biggest blessing to me. So, can't knock nobody's hustle. Hey, I feel you. You I feel me? All love, man. Already. Because so definitely, bro, let everybody know, man, where they can find you at so they can go ahead and check you out, bro. Yeah, just find me on my. Um business page froze underscore restorations or if you want to talk to me about anything about having your like right like shouting out your brand or anything like look for anybody just hit me up on street dot anime that's my main profile snapchat sneaker underscore ranger and i think that's about it facebook daquan rose yeah 
Yeah. Got you, bro, man. Definitely. Thank you, bro, for supporting the Wave 804, man. I hope you keep doing your thing and stay forward, man, and stay focused. Keep hey. grinding, bro. Hey, we all gonna keep riding, baby. Yes, sir, man. This is another dope interview with my man, Daquan Rose. You know what I'm saying? With the wave head full, we out, man. Peace. Hey. Turn it up. Turn it up. That's just the way.